Love them or hate them, bees have been an important part of our society for centuries. Long sought after for their honey, honeybees have been depicted in ancient cultures and religion as a symbol of fertility, industriousness, and cooperation. Prehistoric cave drawings depicting honey gatherers have been found in South Africa, Asia, Australia, and Europe. Colonizers brought the European honeybee to North America, and to this day, modern agriculture relies heavily on the honeybee for crop pollination. The honeybee has played a key role in the development of human traditions, agriculture, and society, with the earliest found record of honey gathering depicted in the Cave of the Spider near Valencia, Spain. This 15,000-year-old painting shows a woman on a rope ladder gathering honey from a nest on the side of a rock cliff. The earliest known form of organized beekeeping occurred in ancient Egypt, where twig and reed designed hives allowed keepers to manage colonies. It was the poorest and lowest class that was given the dangerous and often painful task. They didn't have the protective gear that we have today. Honeybee products were not only a source of food, but also used for medicinal and religious practices. They used the wax for candles, the honey as an antiseptic, as well as an important substance in the mummification process. Honey gathering practices in medieval Europe was based on seeking out large trees with resident honeybees. Keepers would cut out small sections of the tree to make removable panels with flight entrances and to keep the bees protected. Other methods for keeping honeybees included log hives and basket weave hives known as skeps. The benefit of these methods were the ability to have the hives closer to their keepers and for transport. Although honey hunting from wild bees is still done in some societies, the majority of honey is now harvested from managed bee colonies. The most important beekeeping revolution happened 170 years ago by Lorenzo Lorraine Langstroth. Langstroth revolutionized the beekeeping industry by using bee space in his top opening hive. He found that by leaving an even, approximately bee-sized space between the top of the frames holding the honeycomb and the flat coverboard above, he was able to remove the coverboard quite easily, which was normally well cemented to the frames with propolis. Langstroth later used this discovery to make the frames themselves easily removable. Langstroth also found that several communicating hive boxes can be stacked one above another and that the queen can be confined to the lowest chamber by means of a queen excluder. In this way, the upper chambers can be reached only by the workers and therefore contain only honeycomb. At the time of Langstroth's contributions, honey was the chief sweetener in American diets, so Langstroth's new beekeeping techniques were of great importance. Modern day hives can be easily transported if pollination services are being offered. Commercial beekeepers will often transport their hives to other parts of the country to pollinate crops like alfalfa in the Midwest, berries in the Northeast, and oranges in Florida. Approximately 80% of flowering plants depend on pollinators such as honeybees to transfer their pollen. Honeybees, along with native pollinators, support the growth of trees, flowers, and other plants, which serve as food and shelter for creatures large and small. Bees contribute to complex, interconnected ecosystems that allow a diverse number of different species to coexist. Dancing bees started off as a small apiary with only 16 hives. The founder, Todd Callas, had a passion for beekeeping and building his own woodenware. His hobby soon flourished into a small business. As demand for his woodenware grew, Todd began to source and design additional products. In 2018, Dancing Bee Inc. acquired the Bee Works, beekeeping supplies and resources. In spring of 2020, Dancing Bee in spring of 2020, Dancing Bee Equipment opened its second retail location in Winnipeg, Manitoba. In 2021, Dancing Bee's flagship Port Hope location moved to our new facility beside Highway 401 in Port Hope. The new location includes the Bee Works Honey and Gift Shop, a state-of-the-art bottling facility, and the new 55,000 square foot warehouse.
Now let's dive into the hive. Honeybees are social insects, which means that they live together in large, well-organized family groups. A honeybee colony typically consists of three kinds of adult bees, workers, drones, and a queen. A single colony can include up to 80,000 bees during peak nectar and pollen flow, each of which performs a very specific function within the group. Nest building, cleaning, brood rearing, and feeding the baby bees, food collection, guarding the hive, cleaning up the hive, and foraging for nectar, pollen, and water. All of the important colony social activities are carried out by females and the jobs are based on the age of the worker bee. Unlike the queen and worker bees, drones, the male bees, don't have a stinger, pollen basket, or wax glands, and thus their main purpose within the colony is to reproduce with the queen bee. They tend to eat more than workers and do not usually gather food on their own, nor can they feed themselves. They will be thrown out of the hive in the fall when the food may be considered scarce, though not if the hive lacks a queen. Some beekeepers think that the drones can help with temperature regulation within the hive during the summer as well. A lot of people ask how a queen is made. While queens and workers are both born from fertilized eggs of their queen, they are differentiated early on by the differing contents of their diets. All female larvae are initially fed a nutrient-rich substance called royal jelly. But those who are to become workers are soon switched to a mixture of honey and pollen known as bee bread. Only larvae that are chosen to become queens are given royal jelly throughout the larval stage of development. She grows up to two and a half times larger than ordinary bees and produce eggs to populate the hive. When people think of bee products, the first thing that comes to mind is honey, but honey is not all that the bees produce. In fact, there are plenty of other bee products that are created when it comes to bees and harvesting honey. The whole process of bee pollination is one which helps to maintain the biological environment of nature by pollinating flowers and aiding new plants to reproduce. This in turn affects the other plants, animals, and even humans, allowing us to thrive. During the process of pollination, several bee products such as honey, propolis, pollen, royal jelly, and beeswax are produced. These products have long been used as a natural food source and also for medicinal purposes for healing. It isn't a surprise that they have since become popular health supplements and products for those who understand their powerful effects. Honey is made from the nectar of flowering plants and regurgitated from bee to bee before being stored in the honeycomb of the hive. The honey is then cooled by the bee's wings and set aside as a source of food for the bees. It is then harvested from the beehives by the beekeepers and processed and bottled for consumption. Honey is not only used as a great substitute for white sugar, it is also effective as a health supplement to boost your immunity to colds and viruses, sore throats and coughs. It can also be used topically to help with the healing of skin issues and burns and wounds. Propolis is a type of bee glue or resin that bees produce to seal and protect the hive from intruders and bacteria. It functions to seal the holes and cracks and the reconstruction of the beehive. When propolis hardens the cell wall, it creates an aseptic environment that keeps the beehive protected from contamination caused by harmful bacteria, viruses, or other microorganisms. Propolis is known for its antibiotic properties and can be added into the health products such as toothpaste or consumed on its own through capsules or liquid extracts. Royal jelly is a milky substance that is fed by worker bees to the bee larva up until they are three days old. The queen bee is the one who gets to feed on it for her entire life. It is generally used for beauty support and to maintain general wellness. Used widely for candles, lip balms, creams, and other beauty products, beeswax is produced to form the walls and seal the cells of the honeycomb. 
Beeswax contains over 300 natural compounds, especially fatty acid esters. The fresh wax is white, which later turns to a yellowish brown color. Bees are covered in pollen when they collect nectar from the plants, and these balls of pollen get deposited into honeycomb cells along with hormones and antibiotic substances. It is used as a source of food for young bees. Pollen tastes powdery, floral, and slightly bittersweet, and you can add it to your yogurt, cereal, and oatmeal as a topping. It is nutrient-packed with 18 vitamins, essential amino acids, enzymes, and is a rich source of protein. Hobby beekeeping has been on the rise for the past number of years, hitting an all-time high during the pandemic. This is due to many factors ranging from awareness of the importance of bees for pollination to the availability of bees and beginner equipment for purchase. Some may catch a swarm, some may purchase bees and create their colony. Awareness campaigns, more accessibility and affordability of equipment and knowledge, and the desire to be connected and reap tangible rewards have all contributed to the rise in the sweet hobby. The simple benefit of having a hobby offers an outlet for stress. Dainty Bee Inc. has become a market leader for commercial and residential beekeeping equipment, medication, safety gear, and training. Our on-site beekeepers offer experience and up-to-date knowledge, not only for those who have been beekeeping themselves for a long time, but also for those who would like to begin their journey and for those who would just like to learn more and to see where everything comes from. Our observation hive is a fantastic way to dive into a hive without having to suit up. You can have a peek at the inner workings of the hive and our staff is more than happy to answer your questions and guide you through your experience. Your experience doesn't have to end when you leave our shop. We have some amazing books and products available in the Bee Works that you can take home with you. Don't be surprised if when you see all we have to offer you want more. We have more hands-on workshops and tours. We can give you hands-on experience with not only our many levels of beekeeping workshops, but also our candle making and more workshops. So much fun to do and bring a friend.